Hello again. We are working on the second vlog and uh, I did some Lego laundry today and I got some started. We are currently loading the washing machine up with water and this is going to be the large plates load. So anything where the uh, <clears throat> one of the dimensions is larger than well, two of the dimensions are larger than two, so three by three and larger. Um, not base plates, so I have those separate. Uh, and only plate, not brick height. So like brick height, larger stuff is, I did some of that earlier. This is all large brick, um, something like this, where it's four by six or larger, or just taller bricks. Uh, all that stuff is in here. Um, whoops. I did a modified plate as well, so stuff with some studs and some smooth and octagonal stuff and jumper plates and teeth and it's a really huge category. It's probably very loud here because I got the fan going to help dry this stuff out. Um, I also did over here, uh, this stuff is what I did yesterday. This is a um, modified brick and then over here is tile. Uh, that's uh, roughly four Ziploc bags, four gallon Ziploc bags of tile. It's probably about eight pounds, I think. Uh, I haven't weighed the tote, and I generally haven't done that yet. But these are retaining more water than I was had run into before. But I'd done the modified plate, the tile, and the large brick all in the same load. Uh, it was like seven or eight bags. And then now with the large plate, which is now starting to agitate, I can hear it, uh, there are seven bags. What I've been doing is uh, in the bags that I showed, which are these, I'll show it again, these here, um, I'm putting two of the gallon Ziploc bags in here. It doesn't burst it full. There's plenty of room in there. Um, and uh, yeah, so when I did seven of them, that's roughly 14 uh, gallon bags of that. Although the last one was not quite full, I went upstairs and pulled what was already sorted and it wasn't a full Ziploc bag worth, but that's all right. Uh, at some point I can see myself, instead of sort uh, washing an entire category, I can see having separate bags of different categories and just washing as I go, kind of, and then adding them to, you know, totes that are going to be set up on shelves over here eventually of washed stuff. Uh, currently, <laughs> zip, 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 it's way over there. This is all the washed stuff over here. Um, but I don't want it way over there. I want it much closer over here. Um, so yeah, at some point we'll do that. Uh, but I got all these categories and I'm actually running short on these clear totes that I've been putting them in. They're also not lidded and I don't like that. So I'm probably going to invest in some lidded clear totes uh, at some point just so that I can keep them in those clear totes. I think that works. Uh, it visually will tell me how full the tote is uh, because that's when, you know, we're going to start sorting by mold. Uh, and some of those categories can be easy, like, you know, two by brick and one by brick. Those are going to be really easy sorts. Modified brick, modified plate, crazy. So it's possible I might do like another sort in the middle of all of that uh, to further break it down, but I, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, that is the status right now. Uh, tomorrow, I am expecting some additional help, and we've got uh, some project stuff down here a little bit, and some more stuff upstairs, which probably won't be seen as much. Uh, I'm, we're going to get some really hot temperatures in the next few days here, and I don't have central air at the moment because of all the problems in the backyard. So the one room, the game room that I had the wall AC heating unit put in, I'm going to make that livable and put some sheets up on the doorway so that we can retain the cool air in there. I also have a room air conditioner that I had bought last year for the bedroom and we're going to dig that out tomorrow as well and get that set up. So we've got a lot of stuff up there to do, but you know, there'll be some work down here as well. Uh, but. I also, um, this coming weekend is uh, a show that the Lug is putting on, and an air show. And then uh, we've got the Lug meeting on that Monday. So it's a Saturday, Sunday show, Lug meeting on Monday. Tuesday, early, I'm going to be leaving for Origins, uh, which is a gaming convention. 
I won't be back until Sunday night. And then Wednesday, I fly out of here to go to Brickworld in Chicago. So I'm going to be busy until like after Father's Day, which is the Sunday of Brickworld is Father's Day. So yeah, um, I think after that uh, is when I will shoot to start adding pieces. I don't want to jump the gun too much. We also are not quite done with the stickering down here. I don't remember what I showed or not, but I've got one column here left to do. And then all the columns in that section over there are done. And then just columns through here need to be done. So we're working on it. We're getting there. Um, and I'm, I'm excited. It's, uh, it's all coming together. Just even seeing this giant empty area, which I know there's been some comments on it. Um, it, it's hard to believe it was completely full of totes and they've been, they found other homes, but they have. Um, and then at some point we'll start taking them out and dealing with them. Yeah. So one thing at a time and that is what we're doing tonight. Thank you very much. Hello. Uh, so Memorial Day and uh, late at night it was supposed to be a large meteor shower. And so I had some people over we're going to watch that and uh, they actually were helping me down in the basement but it was also upstairs too because what we did is we moved a whole bunch of stuff down from the game room upstairs into the basement so it's kind of a disarray down here now I've got uh, these two plastic shelving units that were already assembled that came down assembled uh, I've got these three over here that need to be assembled plus all sorts of storage uh, has come down. Also, pretty much all the Duplo and Quattro that I know of where it is is down here. Uh, I brought down all the uh, large room Copenhagen boxes, either brand new or used. They're all down here now. Well, there's one that's upstairs, but it's full of instructions. It's pretty heavy. I didn't want to bring it down. Uh, so yeah, there's this whole pile of stuff through the middle now that I need to sort and organize better. Uh, than it is, but I didn't I wasn't down here. I was basically pointing and moving stuff upstairs so they could bring it downstairs uh, You know all these uh, Containers here that I previously showed picking those up and just all sorts of different storage Containers and like uh, one of it asked is like do people actually buy these you know referring to These things and I said well no probably not especially this one that's ripped But I the plan is I can use these down below the drawer units down here for some of the storage you know I can use these this style if I decide to uh, probably where they would fit up top too so I could use them up there as well so it's been my plan all along to kind of use them for more bulk storage type solutions so that's why I have those um, and then yeah the last thing I washed I think was the the large plate that is pretty much overflowing this tote here I haven't washed anything in about a day. I'm running out of these clear totes to put them in. Uh, and I don't know why I've gravitated towards clear totes to put them in once they're washed, but I have. At some point, I want to put through here the metal shelves to put the uh, washed pieces in so that they can get ready to go mold sorted. I'm also considering a couple of categories doing an extra sort. So there'll be the first sort that I would do when I would pull out electronics, and large like base plates and things like that minifigure parts that kind of thing and then the, there was the main category sort and then those come back and some of them lend themselves quite easily like these large plates i don't think are going to be hard to do a mold sort bricks you know one by and two by bricks shouldn't be too hard one by and two by plate shouldn't be too hard even the slopes really shouldn't be too hard wedges that kind of thing but modified brick modified plate technic those are going to be dastardly categories to uh, subsort. So what I'm considering doing is I'm considering having some sort of an extra sort level in there to somehow sort them down a little bit before they go to direct mold sort. Um, so like maybe with uh, both modified uh, brick and modified plate, I could do something along the lines of uh, clips, you know, pieces with clips, pieces without. Um, you know, in, in the modified brick, I could also have like the Technic brick in one category of itself. That's almost a done deal at that point then, because you basically, I mean, there's, you know, the one by ones and the one by twos, and I don't think there's any one by threes, but one by fours and one by sixes and the longer ones. And then there's the square ones that are kind of like the bricks, but they're completely square. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a few things that could get done like that. Um, 
I think a modified plate could be done for uh, maybe jumpers as one category, although there's only be like two or three, maybe four different things in that category. Uh, clips, um, bars coming off of them, you know, there's just, I need to look at it and see if there is something that jumps at me. Oh yeah, that would be a good way to subsort it and then do the subsort and then do a mold sort. Um, just to try to make it easier, because I mean, I don't want to send off a category to someone to mold sort that is going to have like 120 different types in it. It's just, that gets crazy. Um, we'll see. I, I may end up doing one mold sort here myself for every category just to see what it's like, or at least do a whole chunk of a box or a tote or whatever to see how I like the categories as they are and come up with ideas. But that is all that we are up to at the moment. Uh, I may have more today, more help coming today, and we're thinking uh, might try to finish the stickering of the drawers. So it's kind of hot out and it's cooler down here without the central AC in the house. Uh, I'm almost at the point where I can uh, fire up the wall AC unit in one room. I have to go out and see if I can get some sheets cheap to put uh, over the doorways to block that room off from the rest of the house. So I'm not trying to cool the entire house from the one wall unit because that would just be crazy. Uh, yeah, and I need to unbury the AC unit for the bedroom. So got a lot going on. And as usual, I'm uh, trying to record it here. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello again. Uh, we are back down in the basement after a day of doing stuff. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've done stuff down here today, but I'm just getting back down to actually record the video. Um, so I moved this shelf here and I started putting, uh, and then this one over here, I've started putting these uh, totes on it. Uh, most of them are empty. Uh, I do have a couple of like set type things here. Uh, a sealed case of Series 5 Lego minifigs. Um, and then a lot of the stuff over here is still in kind of disarray. I was basically picking stuff off to fill up the two shelves. I got, you know, this one here and that one there. I did put a couple of things way over here, the red ones, because they have stuff that need to be sorted on it. And then uh, these are all Duplo through here. Uh, and so that's kind of what I have going on there. But the big news is over here, the drawers are all labeled. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, it means that you know, that whole stuff is done. Uh, I, I take that back. There's one label somewhere that's missing. I had torn the, tore the label accidentally. So I have to go in and uh, <laughs> make one label at some point. Uh, I guess for the time being, I could just not use that drawer. And it's probably a drawer I wouldn't get to anytime soon anyway. It was over here somewhere. I don't know. You'd think a, you'd think an empty slot with no. There it is. <laughs> no sticker on this drawer right here. Oh, this one right here. So yeah, it's right behind the pole. Uh, it's way out. I don't think I'm gonna run into that problem anytime soon. But I do have the sticker itself over here that I tore that I can actually just get the number off and reprint. But yeah, that is what I have going on. And not much else has happened. I haven't washed anything more. Uh, but yeah, I'm making progress. And that's all I can do every day. Make a little bit of progress if I can. Um, I'm going into some busy time though. It's going to be like two weeks of very busy time. Doing all sorts of things. So we'll see what kind of updates we can get going on in that time period. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. It is Wednesday. And some stuff has happened down in the basement. Um, I have loaded up more stuff in sorted areas it's like storage uh parts and other things here uh there's also some additional parts and things over here i need to continue sorting it it's not finished deal uh, but i do have the large central area clear again so that's kind of nice uh and i kind of all those um large plastic bricks i kind of formed into a uh Sort of a fireplace enclosure. Uh, so yeah, they're actually spanning that gap. By, that little spot right there is a blank hole uh, because I didn't, didn't want to get them close enough to just do the two two by four bricks. So there's an extra spot in the middle. Uh, but yeah, so a little fun doing that. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is work on getting some of the other shelves set up. I've got these three uh, plastic shelf units here that need to get set up. Uh, I do want these metal ones that are over here 
to go way over there eventually uh, where those totes are right there uh, for what's on them now sorted or washed brick and then through this wall I'm gonna put the plastic units I figured out I can get three wide and then what I'm gonna see if I can do is once I get those three units in on this wall can I put like a floating unit here of three shelves and then three shelves back to back and then maybe another one three shelves three shelves and then maybe three more against this wall over here as long as the walkway through is big enough to get to this area which is I think going to be the sorting station for the most part I'm going to try to set up three sorting stations plus a desk like area uh, probably shipping and that sort of thing back here as well although the actual shipping is going to be still ways down the road uh, but yeah that is uh, well progress I've made today uh, not a whole heck of a lot I had other things going on so yeah that's it. I'll see you all tomorrow, Thursday. Hello. It is bright and early on Saturday. Yesterday, I did one thing all day. I had to pick up some Lego from somebody in the lug for a display that we're putting off this weekend at an air show. Uh, I've got my car packed up with boxes of stuff. Their stuff is in the trunk. And I'm going to head off. But yesterday, the only thing I did was to pick that stuff up because I had an excruciating headache. Uh, I basically had a cold compress over my eyes and my forehead almost all day. I took uh, Advil and Tylenol and different things like that throughout the day and some sinus medicine. It was just, it was probably the worst headache I remember having ever. But that's passed, and I'm feeling a whole heck of a lot better today. So it's actually much earlier than I normally get up. Partially because I slept so much yesterday, and uh, I'm heading off to the air show, and there will be footage from the air show. Anyway, here we go. All right, so this is the displays for the air show. Uh, we've got a couple of custom planes here that were made by a member, and some small vehicles as well. Uh, this kit is something we were selling at the show, this little biplane. We've also got some set type stuff, yeah. helicopter, space shuttle, Saturn V, that sort of thing. Over here we've got uh, some more sets and also some stuff that I believe were built off instructions from online, some of these mech type things. Over here we've got some military stuff that was done by one of the members, a whole bunch of different minifigs in here. And then some smaller vehicles. I particularly like this Arch. This is a brand new build he just finished a few days ago. Here we have uh, my display with the classic space ATAT -AT and the snow speeders, and then uh, the Slave One selection. We also have a couple of the older space sets here built, and then my little classic space display of boxes, sets, and boxes that I have. Uh, coming over this way, we have the medieval village, which was put up. Got the harbor here in the back, and then some farms and other buildings, and the big wall. Uh, new thing is the crossbow here in the front, replacing cannons, which I really like these new crossbows. And then we've got more like farm type things and some other plant uh, trees and that sort of thing through here. Over here we have the bowling alley and then some other small little mock builds. Put up another one of the biplanes that are going to be here. Over here we've got some other display type stuff. Real small microscale castle that I particularly like. This one is a Walking Dead inspired. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. The Razor Crest, which is done off the instructions online. It's a larger Razor Crest than the set. Cool. A couple more over here. 
Iron Man needs the Infinity Stone. And then here we have, this is the two sets we we're selling here, the World War II biplane and this uh, uh, Corvette Stingray. And then the last thing is the Great Ball Contraption, which is off at the moment. I'll show it, but I think I'm going to wait and try to get a video tomorrow. Uh, we're kind of at the point where people are leaving for the day, and so there's less people in here. I was able to take the video easier. But yeah, we'll try to take this tomorrow as it's moving. And then we've also got these two long ramps that just basically drops it in at the top and it rolls down. Uh, so we've got two of those that are, are good for spacers. Just get them in there quick. And that is what we have for the show today. It is Monday, and I'm leaving tomorrow to go to a gaming convention called Origins. Uh, and I just wanted to do a, a last little bit before I splice all the little bits together and uh, put them up as the second vlog. It should have gone up yesterday. Uh, my phone died out of charge, and so I wasn't able to deal with everything yesterday. And I decided that since the last videos that I had on the vlog were from the show we did at the air show over the weekend, and there wasn't as much dialogue. I wanted to add a little something at the end. So this is the basement, and we're still same situation as, as before. We've got the empty totes over here and drawer units here, and then my fake uh, fireplace of Lego storage there and all sorts of other things. But we will be probably not recording much of anything going forward for a week uh, that is Lego-related. And so there probably will not be a vlog next week uh, the following week there will be I'm going to Brickworld in Chicago. So that should be a pretty big thing and I'm excited about that. We've got a lot of video there hopefully and it may end up being a, a fairly long vlog and I may release some smaller short type things in the midst of all that. Uh, also BrickCon is that Saturday, or not BrickCon, LegoCon is that Saturday. So, you know, all the stuff that they may announce then, uh, well, I'm kind of looking forward to all that. And I'm looking forward to getting things going here. I'm at the point now where the only thing I have left really to do is to set up uh, counter space in this area. Uh, partially that counter there is going to be part of it uh, and some other space. And then I can start moving to town, as it were. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So it's probably going to be July. But we're getting there. And that is uh, that's the most progress I've made in a long time. And we're really getting there. But thank you very much. This is the second vlog. Take care.